You recall that the perpendicular bisector theorem states that if you have a point that is on the perpendicular bisector of a segment, then it is equidistant from the endpoints of, of the segment. So if I wanted to prove the perpendicular bisector theorem, I would need to show that segment CA and segment CB have equal lengths. The distance from C to A is the same as the distance from C to B. And since there's segments here, we're going to need to show that those segments are now congruent. So remember, every theorem we should be proving, so this is the proof of the perpendicular bisector theorem. So copy down our given information, and when you're ready, we'll begin. All right, so we're starting with knowing that CP, the line CP, is the perpendicular bisector of AB, right? So if you have a point on the perpendicular bisector, then you know it's equidistant from each um, endpoint. So what do you know about a perpendicular bisector? Well, there's two things we know from the definition. We know, number one, that the line's perpendicular to the segment, and if it's bisecting it. So if it's bisecting it, it's intersecting the segment at its midpoint. So we know that P is the midpoint of AB. Now, what do we know about perpendicular lines? Well, if lines are perpendicular, that means they're forming right angles. So using the definition of perpendicular lines, we can say that angle CPA and angle CPB are right angles. And by the right angle congruence theorem, all right angles are congruent. So angle CPA is congruent to angle CPB. So that was using our perpendicular line piece right here. Okay. The other piece of that perpendicular bisector definition is the fact that we have a midpoint, right? And if P is the midpoint of segment AB, well then that means that segment AP is going to be congruent to segment PB. So we have all of our information marked now, right? We know that the angles are congruent because they're right angles. So if this is a right angle, this is a right angle. I also know that AP is congruent to PB. Now if I want to prove these two segments are congruent, Look at the triangles that are formed. Is there anything you, el you anything else you know about those two triangles? Any other segments or angles you know to be congruent? Yeah, CP is congruent to itself. So our next step is going to be using the reflexive property to say that CP is congruent to CP. Now we know these two triangles are congruent. How are these two triangles here and here congruent? side, angle, side, side, angle, side. So th they are congruent by side, angle, side, right? And through CPCTC, which, which remember stands for corresponding parts of congruent triangles are then congruent. We would know that AC and CB are congruent and therefore the lengths equal. So let's write that all out, okay? So now you see it in the sketch, let's write it out. So I'm gonna just scroll down here. So we know the triangles are congruent by this side angle side postulate. Through corresponding parts, we know that the segments themselves are congruent. And by the definition of congruent segments, we know that the lengths are equal. And we've completed the proof of the perpendicular bisector theorem.